What's going on everyone? My name is Mike. Welcome back to another Pour the Record video. If you're new to the channel, my aim is to foster connection through music, specifically in the form of vinyl, and my passion for coffee. In this video, I'm going to shed light on a rather underrated record shop, and that is D'Amato Records, located in the capital city of Valletta in the small island country of Malta. But since it is a bit early and I need a bit of a fix, let me first get a coffee. Fittingly, today's brew of the day comes from Coffee Circus in Malta whose roastery goes by the name of Seven Beans Roastery. They've got a few locations scattered around the heart of Malta and even occasionally serve their coffee from the back of vans. The batch I purchased is from Burundi and is rather new so I don't have that much concrete information on the process and variety. However, upon trying this for the first time, it contained rather fruity notes but also some earthy notes the longer the brew sat. While Malta's coffee scene is still young and saturated with espresso-based shops because of the Italian-influenced espresso scene, specialty coffee is not too hard to find. In case you get a chance to visit, I highly recommend the Coffee and Strangers Espresso Bar for a more personal and enriching experience, Lot 61 if you want a good brew to go as you stroll through the hustle and bustle of Valletta, and finally, the Starbucks Reserve at the entrance of the Walled City if you want to sit down and get some work done. So D'Amato Records was established all the way back in 1885 and they started off as a parlophone distribution shop which was essentially the record player back in the day invented by Thomas Edison. There is currently a small debate whether or not this is in fact the oldest shop in the world as they are competing with Spillers Records all the way in Cardiff, UK. Spillers has a bit of an upper hand because they were recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as being the world's oldest record shop since D'Amato Records fails to have any documentation proving that that building was in fact there in 1885. Nevertheless, it is etched into their building so I'm going to take their word for it and conduct the rest of this video as if they were the oldest record shop in the world. What I do love about Demonte Records is that it has withstood the test of time. They are over a century old and since the early beginnings they have always maintained their family business. Since the invention of the CD player and digital music streaming, they have withstood these challenges and continue to be in operation. As I was doing my research, I was a bit surprised to find out that there aren't that many videos around it. There is one video out there where I did most of my research where the interviewer actually interviewed many of the family members of the D'Amato family and I have linked that down in the description below from which I have gotten a couple scenes on top of my own b-roll. So a few tidbits of history information just so you have a nice picture of what the record shop is all about. Back in the early days, they distributed music from the British music label His Master's Voice otherwise known as HMV, which is why you have the logo of the dog with a the parlophone there that is the HMV logo. And around the 30s, they started to gain their traction in the industry by distributing local Maltese music, and that's how they have become a household name in the music industry within Malta. Fast forward to the 70s where the vinyl hype started to pick up, that's when they started to get a bit more traction and become more successful as a business of selling records. And fast forward even more all the way to today where you do have the boom of digital streaming. They're still intact. In the past decade or so is when the vinyl hype started to pick up again as the generation X, Y started to feel more nostalgia towards record collecting. And so you have all the Gen Z millennial kids trying to collect vinyls these days and this is how they're able to maintain their business even now in 2023. So now I'm going to share a little bit about my personal experience while at this shop. I did only spend about half an hour there, which in my opinion is, is not enough time to browse through everything. However, what I can say is that they have a healthy selection of CDs, vinyls, and DVDs amongst other nostalgic and more traditional media. This record shop is a bit hard to miss as it is located in Valletta, the capital of Malta. So if you are a music lover, a record collector, definitely stop by and just marvel at the impressive collection that they have displayed in their windows, but also deeper into the store. From my observation, they mostly had new records, but they also have a healthy selection of used records as well. Towards the front, you'll see more of the new stuff and towards the back, you'll see a bit of the older stuff. I did peruse through the Maltese vinyl selection from which I didn't get anything, unfortunately, since I had limited time. If you do get a chance to cop anything, definitely take the chance to appreciate the music. D'Amato Records has a very strong influence in the music industry within Malta, so definitely take the time to talk to whoever's working there, and I'm sure they can definitely shed some light on different music that you can explore for yourself. Apart from that, they have a decent selection of classic rock, soul, pop, and everything in between. 
At the end of the day, I did come home with two vinyls, which I will mention in another video when I do wrap up my top finds of the month. But until then, you'll have to stay tuned. And folks, before I end this video, I wanna share a little bit of a bonus tip, another record shop that I had personally visited in case you do have some days within Slima Valletta, that area, and that is Sunset Records. So we stayed in Slima, and right around the corner from our hotel was Sunset Records. It is a bit of a hole in the wall, so unless you're not actively searching for it, you probably won't find it. It's located on a side street, a bit away from the harbor itself, but it's not too hard to find if you just Google it. From my perspective, it is a smaller location, so the selection isn't crazy, but in terms of the diversity, you can definitely find something for any music lover. They have a bit of soul, electronic, some hip hop, some pop. I would say their distribution of new to use vinyls is about 50-50, so you can definitely find something that is newer, but also something that is, has a bit more wear and tear to it. What's good about the shop is, like many, they have their own record player from which you can sample the used stuff, which is what I did to discover some new music. And again, as I mentioned before, I won't reveal what I came home with, but I will most likely mention it in my next video. So generally, the vinyl scene in Malta is rather still young, despite this shop being so old. I would say there are a handful of record shops that you can visit, and so there's not really much to choose from. But being that Malta is a very tiny island, I'm not expecting a scene like Berlin or London or New York or anything. So if you are a hobby record collector, I can definitely recommend any of these shops, depending on how much time you are spending. So that about wraps up this video. If you did like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you want more content like this. So stay tuned on my next video on my top finds of the month, and I will see you there. Peace.